Out here on the weather deck, it is very peaceful. Drip, drip, drip from all of the melting snow. We just have piles of snow out here on the weather deck now. Let's check with your Wednesday, one of the busiest travel days of the year coming up. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the uh, comfortable 40s foreseen. And this view is sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. Introducing Onyx. Onyx, you've got a great walk ahead of you. Nicole, you can take Onyx out anytime this evening or tomorrow morning. Just watch out for some freezing fog, especially early on tomorrow morning. I'm going to give you the green paw for all of those time periods. Almost as much sunshine tomorrow as we saw today. 6.9 out of a 10 point scale to uh, wind energy. Uh, not a whole lot of wind here tomorrow, so we're going to see our winds fairly light. So uh, best bet for creating green energy will be from the sun. We had a few high clouds come in earlier this afternoon. They've now cleared out uh, with all the moisture in the air. The possibility of a little bit of freezing fog right around daybreak in the early morning hours. Other than that we've got a very nice weather pattern going on. Uh, no active storms coming in our direction other than maybe some rain Saturday night. We'll talk about that in a moment, but clear skies overnight throughout the day tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. We're going to start to see some high clouds come in for Thanksgiving Day. These are a couple of sprinkles and that will be while you're sleeping on Thursday night. As you wake up on Black Friday, skies will become sunny. Should be very nice indeed. Might be a little bit cooler here on Saturday as some high clouds come in. That's when the next uh, active weather pattern will be coming on in. There'll be some rain throughout the day, a little bit of wind later on in the afternoon on Sunday, but it will be all rain with temperatures uh, well above average. We could see up to a quarter to a half an inch of rain. All of that will come Saturday night through Sunday, and there might be a couple of snowflakes mixed in. Certainly nothing what we saw here over the past four days last week. Long range outlook. This is November 30th through December 6th. High chances we'll stay warmer than average, which means we'll be up into the 40s. In terms of rainfall, we do have a little bit of a storm track coming on through. That's that back edge of that system coming on through at the end of the month, which also might include some rain. A forecast for tomorrow or for tonight, I should say clear skies. Temperatures right around 30 to 32. Up north, this is where you might see a little bit of freezing fog in the morning. A low to mid 20s may only get down down to 28 though in Fremont here in the greater Grand Rapids area. A little bit of freezing fog away from the lake shore overnight lows into the mid 20s. 13 on your side forecast. 47 on Thursday. Our average high is 44. We'll do better than that again on Friday as the sun comes out in the afternoon. Lots of sunshine on Saturday. It will quickly become cloudy though Saturday night with that light rain. Might mix in with a few snowflakes later on on Sunday, but no accumulation is expected. 41 Monday and then another storm coming out next Tuesday and Wednesday. Overnight Tuesday into Wednesday with some rain and then a little bit colder as we head into the first few days of December. Another great day here in West Michigan. Sunshine, temperatures where they should be for this time of year. Any big storms heading in our direction? We'll talk about that in a second. 13 weather ball is green for travel Wednesday foreseen and uh, no change foreseen. And this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. 40s again today, including 42 here in Grand Rapids. Really close to that average high of 44, but we were outside of our three degree threshold. First miss in about two weeks. We'll get back on track here tomorrow. Let's do some traveling. A lot of folks uh, heading out here tomorrow on a flights. Detroit 50 degrees will be at 43, 48 over in Muskegon and 54 in Chicago, expanding further out 38 up in Minneapolis. Lots of sunshine there. Cleveland will be 55, 51 in Pittsburgh, headed out to Denver. You can expect windy conditions in 52 and 59 in Washington, D.C. Very seasonable for this time of year. This is Thanksgiving 47, a couple of sprinkles overnight night as people travel by car, perhaps 51 and partly cloudy with an overnight sprinkle in Chicago and further west out in Denver. Any of that wind will be done. Just a couple of flurries there and partly cloudy and 58 in Washington, D.C. And finally on Black Friday, we'll be in the mid 40s here as you go out to shopping. No inclement weather. All of that will stay well away from us. 48 in Chicago, 46 in Pittsburgh and even out west climbing back into the 50s there with some showers around Washington, D.C. Four Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, mid and upper 40s at the lakeshore, even warmer than today. Inland will be about as warm as we were today. Low and possibly mid 40s. Watch out for some black ice in the morning due to some freezing fog possible. And similarly here in the greater Grand Rapids area, highs between about 42 and 46. 13 on your side forecast. 
couple of sprinkles uh, Thursday night. That's after all of the Thanksgiving uh, festivities are done. 44 for Black Friday. Best chance for rain will be Saturday night into Sunday as we drop from 51 to 43. Uh, final system coming out next week at the end of November with uh, showers uh, for the following Tuesday night and uh, Wednesday. And it'll get windy behind that next system with uh, temperatures falling into the 30s.